A River Rouge police officer is suing her bosses tonight for $2 million, claiming sexual harassment and racial discrimination. Thanks for being here with us for the News at 6. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. River Rouge Police Department is a small one, mostly male. Its first ever female police officer says she is mistreated daily on the job. Rob Maloney live tonight to take us through the claims in a, a big money lawsuit, Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, I want to make a correction to what I wrote there, and it said she says she was the first ever black female police officer in the department, but the lawsuit says that they want $2 million because she has been relentlessly harassed by her management, by the chief, and by another one of his officers uh, who is a supervisor for her. Uh, and it's also a situation where police officers there are both police officers and firefighters, and she said her life has been miserable trying just to do her job. It's just become unbearable at this point. Officer Rosa Holly started with the department as a police dispatcher and did the job for four years. The former female police chief, who has since died, encouraged her to become a full-time police officer. And because the police also work as firefighters, she qualified and took a full-time job. But she says her life changed for the worse when the new police chief, Roberto Cruz, took over. It's like, it's like 1930 Mississippi. Attorney Michael Fortner represents Officer Holly along with Attorney Anthony Adams. He says that she's getting racially disparate treatment and worse, getting sexually harassed as well. She's got tons of text messages and, and, and from, from uh, superior officers threatening her, on, on the other hand, asking her out for dates and, make, and making sexual uh, suggestions. And, and so what she's gone through, no woman should have to go through in today's, today, today's day and age. Officer Holly claims the department's leadership deliberately punishes her for things she didn't do, like take police equipment home, shortchanged her on clothing allowance, and then cited her for not wearing proper uniform clothing, and even improperly accused her of misusing the police gasoline card. I would like to be able to do the job that I love in the city that I love without being harassed and mistreated and um, scrutinized. Now, one of the things she also says is that she, as a female officer, does not have separate quarters, that essentially she has to change clothing in with the men. There's no woman's room there. She says she has to go home in order to do all of that. Now, to be clear, we went directly to the River Rouge Police Department. I went into the police department and asked for the chief. He was in a meeting. Then next door in the building, we went to see the mayor. I dropped in, asked to see the mayor. He was also in a meeting. We, I left a card, we called back. Uh, another time to try and get some kind of comment from the River Rouge Police Department and the city itself, and no one responded. Reporting live in Southfield, Rod Maloney, back to you. All right, Rod.